Hi everyone, today I'm just putting a quick lesson together on page one of Stick Control, which is a classic book, a lot of drummers use it, a lot of the greats swear by this book as a technique builder. This lesson is going to be for all abilities, so whether you're a complete beginner or an expert drummer, this hopefully there'll be something useful for you here. You can adapt this lesson to suit your level, so that's why I've decided to film this one, it's a good all-rounder. So you're going to need a few things for this lesson. A pair of drumsticks, first of all, very useful. Second thing, a practice pad. Again, a very useful thing for every drummer to have. You can use a snare drum instead for this, but I think in this case a practice pad actually works better. It's quieter, which means you won't need to wear headphones or anything to hear the metronome, and it's a lot more portable, so it's a very useful thing to have. And finally, the last thing that you'll need is a metronome, either a physical metronome or a, an app. One like this is excellent. The one I'm using here is called Metro Timer, available on the App Store. It's very good, it's just very easy to use, very simple. So I definitely recommend that one. And let's get started. So this lesson is going to be focused on page one of Stick Control. Uh, it runs through several different patterns that involve combinations of right and left sticks. Sometimes playing single strokes, sometimes doubles, sometimes even triples there. But we'll, um, we'll cover that as we go through. So what we're going to do is, is set our metronome. I've got mine set here at 140 beats per minute, which is a good speed probably for beginner to intermediate drummer. If you're a complete beginner, you might want to go a little bit slower than this, or you might even want to try these patterns without a metronome to start with. You'll see how that works later on in the final part of the video. So taking the first pattern, I've got my metronome on now in the background, set 140 beats per minute. And what I'm going to do is just try and play the first pattern through following the metronome. So every time I hear a click, I should be trying to match that with my sticks. So for example, it will sound like this. So that's a nice comfortable tempo for me, feels quite relaxed. If you find that's a difficult tempo to play, if, that's, if you're having trouble staying in sync with the metronome, then maybe just slow it down a little bit and have a go at a slower tempo, see how you get on with that. So what we're going to do is work our way through this page. There are 24 patterns altogether, so we are going to spend one minute on each pattern just practicing our way through. And the nice feature of this metronome that I showed you earlier, the Metro Timer one, is it actually has a, at the bottom here, practice timer. So if you want to practice something for one minute, you could just press the one minute button and off it goes with a countdown at the bottom as well. So it's really handy for this particular workout that we're doing. So when you're working through these patterns, you want to focus on a few things. First of all, your grip, make sure that the grip is not too tight, you're not too tense when you're playing. You want the sticks to be able to bounce off the pad nice and easily. So you should be holding the stick between the thumb and the first finger and the other fingers are wrapped lightly around the stick at the back there. Try and avoid, uh, I see this quite often with beginners, fingers go on top of the drumsticks and that is a bit of a problem later on because it stops the stick from bouncing off the pad. If the finger's on top you won't get any rebound, whereas if the stick is being gripped between the thumb and first finger, there's a bit of a pivot point there, so the stick can bounce straight off, which is what we need. The second thing to make sure is that when we're playing, all our notes are a nice equal volume. We don't want to have one hand stronger than the other, so we need to try and make sure we're playing equal notes, equal volumes. And the last thing to think about is when we're playing along with the metronome, we want to try and make sure that we're playing exactly with the click to build our sense of rhythm, sense of timing. So a lot of beginners can start off there, they'll start and they'll drift away from the speed of the metronome. So really focus on the, on the click that you can hear, try and match that exactly. So before we start the sequence, a couple of things that to mention for the different levels. So if you are a complete beginner and you struggle to play this at 140 beats per minute, which is what I've got it set on here, 
don't worry, when you're playing through the sequence, turn the sound off and just use the pattern that's on the screen just for one minute to practice each pattern very slowly. So you might want to slow it right down. Take for example number five, you might want to play at this speed, just to get used to the pattern. Nothing wrong with doing that. For the beginner to intermediate drummers, maybe you're comfortable playing at this tempo, then this video will be ideal for you. You'll be able to hopefully play along with the patterns that I'm playing at the right tempo and just try and work through all the patterns that way. If you're slightly more advanced and you're comfortable with faster tempos, again, you can turn the sound off, set the metronome at the speed that you want to practice, the speed that is about right for you, and just spend a minute working through each pattern. Again, as they appear on the screen, you can practice these at your own tempo. You don't have to follow what's on the video. Another suggestion for practicing this in a slightly different way. Obviously here we're focused on sticking patterns and timing and tempo as well, making sure our speed is steady. The thing we haven't talked about is the dynamics, so the volume of the patterns that we're playing. So you could try mixing this up a bit by playing, for example, pattern one. You could play nice and loud for the first 30 seconds, and when you're halfway through, you could perhaps try and play the second half very soft. So you get used to playing at some different volumes as well. So let's get into the sequence. I'm gonna spend uh, a minute on each pattern, and then it will move on to the next one. All the patterns will appear on the screen. I'm gonna have them all notated on there, a minute on each one. Good luck, see how you get on.